Meghan Markle is keen to break with royal tradition for the birth of her second child in a move that ruffle feathers of her family, a royal source has claimed. Speaking to OK Magazine a source revealed that the Duchess is determined to make sure a second pregnancy would play out differently than her first which saw Meghan left lonely and uncomfortable. The source said, she's, Meghan's, keen to change that the second time around and would like to buck tradition to ensure she's happy, although that may ruffle feathers along the way. Earlier this year the Duchess of Sussex admitted to feeling really vulnerable during her pregnancy amid challenging media scrutiny. In the Harry and Meghan, an African journey documentary, that died this October, the Duchess spoke about the impact media scrutiny had on her well-being prior to and immediately following the birth of Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Looking visibly emotional. The Duchess said that coping with the pressure was challenging at times. Any woman, especially when they're pregnant, you're really vulnerable, so that was made really challenging, Meghan said. And when you have a newborn. And especially as a woman it's a lot. So you add this on top of just trying to be a new mum or trying to be a newlywed. The confession is thought to be the main reason for such a dramatic change in the royal couple's approach to a potential second pregnancy. Speaking to OK Magazine the source opened up about this change in approach may lead to a royal birth in the US. Meghan already told Pals that when she comes to deliver her next baby, she would like to do it in LA where she was born and bred. It's rumored that the move would be made to help the Duchess prevent a repeat of the loneliness she felt when pregnant with Archie. The source elaborated further, she said that being pregnant in the UK without any of her family and friends felt incredibly lonely and uncomfortable for her. So she's keen to change that the second time around and would like to buck tradition to ensure she's happy, although that may ruffle feathers along the way. The couple's first child Archie Harrison Mountbatten is now just over six months old and has not been seen since he took a trip to South Africa in late September. This was the first official royal engagement for the family of three and gave an insight into family life. The young royal was seen smiling in his mother's arms as he met Archbishop Desmond Tutu. In a touching moment caught on camera. Meghan said oh booba and wiped Archie's face as she noticed he was dribbling. Royal commentator Omid Scobie appeared on Yahoo UK's The Royal Story weekly podcast to give a sweet update on the royal taunt. He said, Meghan says that Archie's currently being weaned at the moment. According to the NHS, weaning should be introduced slowly as babies of Archie's age will still be getting most of their energy and nutrients from breast milk or first infant formula. Former royal chef Carolyn Robb spoke to Omid about the typical diet of royal babies, describing it as, organic, seasonal and very simple. She added, everything is made fresh. There's so much pre-made food available but I'm sure they would like doing everything themselves. On a visit to the Broom Farm Community Center not far from their Frogmore Cottage home, Meghan and Harry surprised military families. The Duchess reportedly shared stories of her son like any other normal mum. One mother there said, My daughter Eris is the same age as Archie and we talked about weaning and the children beginning to crawl. She's just a normal mum and it was like talking to a friend.